too into that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, chatting really quickly uh, about summer. Um, again, you've got a couple of uh, yeah, returning cars. Some kind of favourites coming back. Um, <laughs> Cherokee and that Mercedes. Some nice cars to pick up there. Um, for 15 and 80% respectively. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's, a, there's a season, oh sorry, there's, a, there's, there's kind of a theme to the, uh, some of the seasonal concerts. Yeah, so um, you know, it's kind of all the stuff you'd expect, like the seasonal championship, seasonal fiesta on the centre. You'll notice there it says uh, racing through the 50s um, uh, to get the uh, Plymouth Fury there. Um, obviously another returning car. Um, you'll see as we go through that there's a seasonal championship for each year. So we start with 50s and we have 60s, 70s and 80s. So it's a bit of a running theme. And the seasonal um, championships in general are, are really, really good this time around, especially with the rewards. As you'll see, there's a lot of the times where you're just getting three great cars. Um, so starting with the... Yeah, the car that it, it pays not to get obsessed with uh, that particular car. It's uh, <laughs> something of a, something of a, a Yeah, don't, of a don't take your eye off that one. No, no, don't, 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 uh, don't, uh, <laughs> don't focus your attention on anything other than that car. Yeah, well, it'll go right. on. So let's, let's uh, yes. move on to autumn. Mm -hmm. So some really amazing cars in autumn. I think if you, for whatever reason, you'd be a madman, but for whatever reason you could only play one season, this might have to be the one that you have to play in. So firstly, you're getting a brand new Volkswagen. Um, uh, the Carmen gear. Carmen gear. Carmen gear. There you go, well done. Um, well, thank you. <laughs> uh, and of course, if you get 80%, the Crown Victoria, the one, the car that everyone constantly talks about. Um, mm. So if you haven't managed to get it yet, now's your chance. This is a okay. Just want to mention something. I know there's a little bit of echo going on in stream, guys. We are working on it. Just bear with us a couple of minutes. It should be fixed, but obviously yeah, we'll exactly. carry so on you with that. Get us. another brand new, mm -hmm. another Volkswagen Volkswagen, the Type Three, uh, from completing racing through the 60s. Uh, as well as picking up a Maserati, a birdcage down there, which is like worth you know a couple of million, I think. So that's like a really good value car, really, really interesting, cool car that you can get. And then the other one, you know, we just chucked in a Ford Tradition, oh, a brand new Aston there, Martin is coming up in winter. Um, nice. So that is the Aston Martin Super Larega. Super Larega. Super there we go. One. I messed up that time. <laughs> I, 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 I think there are, there are some people who've been who've been asking yeah. for, for this car. And this, no, so no, shark wellies. Shark wellies. Yes. The thing that everyone was wanting. No, but really, we've got some Porsches <laughs> over on the uh, on the other side of here. So the 914 is coming back, mm -hmm. um, which yes. is pretty interesting, pretty weird car, but. Uh, another like really interesting car there. Yeah, it's, it's got a really dirty face. It really yeah, does. and uh, a mini buggy and Porsche 918 because yes. everyone wants Porsche 918. Yes, uh, yeah, and last but very, very not least. Mm -hmm. um, so it's straight up 50% get that Aston Martin Zagato, obviously. Mm. Uh, awesome so, and car. this is the fourth of the new cars added in yeah. this series. Uh, and uh, the Lotus Elise, which has been in the game yeah. for a while. Okay, we've got something here called the Aston Martin Cup. Yeah, so completing that is going to win you the Maserati MC12, which is the absolute beast mm -hmm. that was featured in a monthly rivals a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. I know I tried really hard on that um, personally, uh, but uh, yeah, really, really difficult to control car, but like basically it's a race car. It's an absolutely intense car to drive and definitely worth owning. So definitely complete that trial. Yeah, that so car. again, just to finish off our eras through the 80s, uh, and you'll be able to win uh, another BMW full tradition, this time the M5. Um, really cool car, definitely worth getting if you don't have that yet. You've got the Hoonigan Escort, obviously goes without saying, really stylish, cool car to own. Great for doing skills. Um, but one that I think a lot of people are really excited to see is the uh, wheel spin exclusive Aventador SV is available to get here. Um, really, really awesome car. I just like the most badass looking oh, Lamborghini ever. Yeah, there's a Gato. Yeah, yeah, so it's really cool. Um, Aston Martin. Does look nice. Yeah, it's, it's really cool for us because Aston Martin are such a local company to the mm. studio as well. So, uh, yeah, this, this is, uh, yeah, say, the uh, Vanquish Zagato. Um, they've got a really long standing relationship with Zagato. There's been cars like all the way through to the DB4 Zagato, yeah. it's really cool. Um, uh, the, the tail lights are a sort of Zagato iconic feature. Mm. It's got the, the double bubble roof. I'm not sure if you can quite see yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's really cool. And uh, there are so many amazing, intricate like Zagato design house mm. touches that they've got in there. So if you have a look through it in, uh, in Forza Vista up close, you'll notice loads of, uh, loads of cool little things. Uh, and that's one of the things that always has to not say, they are just every, every single thing. That's it. Yeah, I mean, they weren't short of 
design talent when mm. they're just designing their own cars and then they've got Zagato in to do this so it's like you know it's a very double layer of awesomeness. But how, how does it drive? Uh, well it drives Let's pretty good. It's, uh, so you know the stats on this one don't you? Yes yeah, so, uh, so this is using uh, Aston Martin's older V12 so this is still normally aspirated. It says six liter on the engine cover it's 10 quid 5.9 we uh, like a bit of rounding up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You, you should be rounding. It's like, I think it's 5.935 litres. It's yeah. still closer uh, to Just to six. be accurate, <laughs> yeah. Um, makes 600 horsepower, and it's got that beautiful V12 soundtrack that is a signature of Aston Martin. Nice. Yeah. And the dials that, oh, when you're in Cop, oh, right. Aston Martin yeah. dials um, meet each other in the centre as opposed to chasing each other like every other car. <laughs> just, just a lovely feature. Yes. Why, why would you not do that? There we go. That's right. So should we yeah. move on to the next? How about the other Aston Martin? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the top, top one. one. Yeah. That one. Get in the car. This uh, again, the one so, that we've been chancing for. It's nice. This, yeah. Go on. You can oh, go. yeah. This is the kind of the latest from Aston Martin in many ways. This is on the new engine architecture, new um, like chassis architecture as you were as well. So this is now moving to the, the new uh, code name AE31 Oops. engine, uh, which is the 5.5 litre twin turbo V12. Yeah, so what's better than having a V12, having a V12 with two, two turbos, turbos on it as well? So I know you approve of so that. So this one's now making 715 horsepower, um, which is a, a ludicrous amount. I love the interior of our cars. Yes. Yeah. And, and Aston's particularly. Yeah. Yeah, so this is like the uh, the pinnacle of, uh, of their lineup at the moment. But the the, the super Leggero aspect of this, this this goes way back in their in yeah. history. Yep. So super Leggero meaning super light. Mm. So this is the sporty version of the Vanquish. So it's lighter, it's got more power. Um, yeah. So this, this is the more hardcore version of the, mm. uh, the Vanquish. Yes, yeah, so I think it was, is it 225,000 pounds? Oh, wow. I think it might be. Yeah. So this, but the uh, the other one we just had up, the Zagato, is uh, starting price, no options, is 525,000. Yeah. So this is comparably a bargain, really. Well, yes, I mean, uh, you, you, you'd be a fool not to jump it off a ditch. Because why not? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Look at that. Perfect. They might have some questions when you take it back for a service. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Why, why do the wheels appear to be pushed up? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, handled it remarkably well, didn't it, really? I, mean, <laughs> I was about to say, that was, that was Fair play good. to them. That's, I mean, that is a fair representation of what it's like driving around uh, Lamington Spa, isn't it? So, <laughs> well, <laughs> the potholes are out yeah. in a minute. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, um, I, I, I saw one of these, actually, on my commute to work a while back. Um, uh, really? Yeah, get oh, out, nice. out sort of... Uh, out towards their factory, and uh, it nearly broke my neck. I was what? just looking back at it for so long. It was in the beautiful red yeah. that they, they made them, and uh, that, that's, it's, it's a great looking car. One of the benefits of uh, the studio being in Lymington is we get to see a lot of Aston Martin and Jaguars and things like yep. that going by. So, and sometimes, you know, all wrapped up in the pre-development camouflage, and you have to kind of guess what it is. <laughs> what car I've got today? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, who's that Pokemon, but what's that car? Yeah. I mean, you, you remember when we had a, a bunch of uh, McLarens delivered up yeah. in front here? They all came in in like a closed-sided truck. Oh, yeah. wow. So, okay. what should we look at next? Uh, let's Which go one? for the Carmen Gear, please. Okay. Guys. I think yeah. these are really pretty little cars. Yeah, that's like a game show selection. <laughs> I have the Carmen Gear. <laughs> yeah. The three points. <laughs> yeah. um, yeah, so um, the like Type 1 was the Volkswagen Beetle, Type 2 was the bus, and then they decided that they wanted a sort of uh, a halo car. So this oh is God, the, uh, the Carmen Ghia. Um, Ghia are an Italian design house, much like uh, Zagato, mm -hmm. and uh, Carmen were the people that made it for Volkswagen. Uh, and it's, it's a really cool looking car. So, like, I mean, um, it's still based on the architecture of what of like Volkswagen Beetle, that, that classic uh, engine's right in the back, it's still the flat air-cooled engine. Uh, they sound really unique, uh, but this is it's got that beautiful body on it as well. So in its time, it was really, really popular. It was like perfectly placed uh, in the market, and now it's really coming back like uh, the sort of California surf culture and everything, this car fits so perfectly into it. So I think uh, a lot of people are going to have fun modifying it and making it look their own mm. because that's that's exactly what the real world Volkswagen community do. They take it, they customise it, personalise it, 
usually make it so it's scraping along the tarmac with absolutely no right height whatsoever. <laughs> can, but, you, um, can you do that with this one? Well, you, know so you can get it pretty low, but I don't think yeah. you can get it like... I, don't, I, I didn't actually do this no. car, so I don't know how long ago. No, I, I think Marco's slightly more sensible than Tom. <laughs> Chris is more like, go all the way. Horsepower and ride height, he, yeah. he considers speed bumps and curves and things like that. Yeah. Chris is just, put it on the floor. <laughs> oh, let's go. Give it a thousand horsepower. <laughs> it probably doesn't have a thousand horsepower. It might. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can do... Oh no, here we go. <laughs> it might have the 911 GT2 engine swap. Well, so that'll be about a thousand. It's arguably in its lineage to an extent, yeah. isn't it? So uh, it's basically a 911, the engine in the back. Yeah. Drive. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's all flat engine. Sorry, if I was talking. But there's okay. one more. Um, so uh, I, yeah. Let's have a look at that. That's the actual type. The actual yeah. type three. Yeah. So uh, this was sort of uh, Volkswagen's evolution, I suppose. So they they had the like the classically styled Beetle. If you think about it, the look of the Beetle, it's got those lovely arches that go over his very rounded design and uh, they brought out the Type 3, there were three different body styles uh, and this is the notchback mm -hmm. local because if you look at the sort of side profile of it, it's like a kind of notch at the back, you could also get a uh, fastback and a squareback. Uh, is that legitimately what they call them? Yeah, yeah, for the American markets that was, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's okay. like, Kind of, you know, it does what it says on the tin. Absolutely, it's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, buying the one with the notchback. Yeah, that, that's what like Volkswagens are. It's the people's cars. Mm. It's you know, they're sort of uh, what people needed rather than mm -hmm. you know necessarily going over the top. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's uh, a popular little car. Uh, I, you say this one's got a 1600 engine. Yeah, this is yeah. 1600, so which is the later one. Is arguably like the, the best engine that Volkswagen made. The air-cooled flat four engine. Mm. So uh, like. Whenever people are modding their classic Volkswagens, they'll usually upgrade to this uh, 1600 engine because it's just the, it's the best of a lot, really, okay. and, until you start going nuts and putting horses. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will just uh, swap over into something. Tommy uh, does say, uh, uh, is this a drive? Yeah, drive. Drive driven. There you go. Do you know what I mean? yeah. Drive and Forza Horizon 4. But, uh, but yeah, you can actually purchase this from Lego. <laughs> Yes. I will definitely probably get one of them to go in my centre. Uh, uh, so. it's, it's a nice easy build, I think. There you go, yeah, Chris can do it, then, because you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, the, the whole thing with this is that this is now available to buy. Look at it And that's the, wow. It, it, it's really big, it's I don't got know. Some real it's to a bit it. bigger than yeah. it, but I don't know why. But. Yeah, this is well, a, is it a pet? That, that one's pretty. Yeah, this is I'd a... Say this. I'm, oh, can you get a tree on? Tree won't fit. <laughs> I was oh. really happy to put the tree on. I was like, no! Yeah, go on the back. If in doubt, you flip it. We'll just... <laughs> oh, there's a whole movie about why, why, why that's contrary to the, the spirit of... There we go. There you go. Can we see that? Is the cup in the way? I think the cup might be in the way. Never mind. Oh, oh well. Anyway, it now has a yeah. tree map. So those out of the loop, um, the uh, Lego Barn find is coming. Um, yes, yeah, so if you have Lego 3 Champions, mm -hmm. you... Become a master builder, basically completed your house, unlock the barn find. Now Jay's found the instructions so you can uh, put it together. Yes, uh, 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 ably helps by Chris. Yeah. Um, <laughs> exactly, Chris has successfully oh, verified the instructions are right. Yeah. <laughs> so. And also uh, it is now available in the shops, so you can you, yep. you can have you can have it in your video game and you can have it in your real life and also in your video game. So the, I'm, I'm sure there's a meme there somewhere. I was about to say, it's saying about that, if you do have some photos, even IRL photos, I'll take them too. I'm yes. Just, I'm, I mean, send me all the photos. <laughs> there you go. But, uh, the but yeah. history of Torben Tuesday. Is in send fact. me photos. I was about to say, yeah. we, uh, we didn't have much this Torben Tuesday. Unfortunately, it's because Torben was away, but we did uh, put a bunch of white bricks on the desk, and that was, in fact, the barn find, which a lot of you did guess, I must admit. Uh, yes. We did have a lot of people guess that straight away. <laughs> no, it was probably the like probably one of the worst kept barn finds going. And but, uh, <laughs> I, I hear we've learnt our lesson, and Torben's never going away again. As well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm, He's I'm, not allowed. <laughs> yeah. It, Sorry, Torben. Yeah, gee, but, thanks. You know. uh, I, I was I was unaware of it. You're welcome. Chris, it's, it's 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 a lot of fun to find. So, uh, Chris, what can you tell us about how this actually works under the hood? Because this is this is a simulated car. Yeah, so like the other uh, Lego cars, um, the way we approached these was how would we build these cars in the real world? Um, so we'd want them to not only look like the Lego 911, but we want to make them drive like a 911 as well. So this one is based around the uh, early 911 Turbo race car. 
so it's a little bit more powerful than the road gun version. Um, and it's, it's got the same weight distribution as 911. It has that characteristic front end, so um, the way you make these things turn is you trail brake them a little bit because they're very light on the front axle. So it drives exactly like a 911 does and looks like the amazing Lego kit. Yes.